There's been a lot of drama and beef in high school basketball recently. Not too long ago, Dior Johnson called out Mikey Williams and Bronny James, and only roughly a week later, Mikey Williams proceeded to call out the number one player in the country known as DJ Wagner. So that seems like a lot, but it does not stop there. There is new and more beef between Dior and Mikey Williams. Over the years, we really haven't seen high school players or even top high school players throw and even take shots at each other. But we also have to keep in mind social media has never been as big as it is today. Day. Three to four or even five years ago, yes, a bunch of high school players had social media. But nowadays, almost every athlete has social media and a big following base to go along with it. So with that being said, this also creates way more opportunities for these players to throw shots at one another. And this is exactly what they're doing. So what's going on with Dior and Mikey right now? Let's dive into it. Well, before we get into what's going on currently between Dior and Mikey, we gotta go over the events that led up to this. Let's throw it back to mid-June. This is when Dior called out Bronny and Mikey Williams. As you guys may or may not know, Dior Johns is not exactly the shyest person on or off the court. He speaks his mind. And this is exactly what he did around mid-June. On his Instagram story, he put Sierra Canyon and Isidro dot 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 dot, I need it. And when he posted this, this actually confused quite a bit of people, so everyone was like, yo, what's he talking about? but then he clarified. I made a video explaining this whole situation, so if you wanna see what really happened in the deep detail, go check it out, but long story short, he basically said, he just wants to play their teams and it has nothing to do with the players. And by players, he is referring to Mikey and Bronny. He said he just wants to play against two great quote-unquote programs, but that doesn't quite add up. I'll give you one of those. Yes, yeah, Sierra Canyon is a great program, but Isidro isn't really known for being a top-tier program, so why wouldn't he want to play either Montbert Academy or some other powerhouse? Exactly, that's what I thought. It has nothing to do with the programs. He just wants to go at Mikey and Bronny and prove he's better than them. And before Dior moved to Oak Hill, he was playing his high school basketball in the same area as these two guys so I think he got tired of hearing about how great they are. And Dior was getting a lot of hype and attention but he probably felt like he was getting overshadowed. So with all that being said, this is why he called them out. He wants to prove he's better than them. And when Dior called him out, Michael Williams actually commented on a post that was talking about it and said this. We love it but you know dang well CIF won't let California teams play prep schools. So hey it looks as if Mikey's ready for it and he wants it to happen. And then we had some more serious beef surrounding Mikey Williams. When the new ESPN rankings came out, Mikey was ranked third and he was not happy at all with this. He went on his Instagram live in front of thousands of people and called out the number one player. And when I say called out, I mean he literally called out this guy. He basically called out DJ Wagner and his high school team and said they've been running from him. You ran in three tournaments. We, we tried to schedule y'all in what, three or four tournaments and y'all ran it from every single one. Camden is really sad how Camden is running from us. This is crazy right now. And right before he ended his live, he said, you gonna have to see me and you can't hide from me forever. I'm coming for you, bro. You ain't, look, you gonna have to see me, bro. You gonna have to see me. You can't hide for long, my boy. You can't hide for long, bro. Look, I don't know if Mikey Williams has been hanging around NBA Youngboy too much or what's going on, but this seemed like it was personal. And DJ's more of a quiet and humble kid. He's all about his business. He just plays basketball and that's it. So I don't think he's gonna say anything about this. And as of today, he hasn't responded to that or said anything, and I really don't expect him to. And in those two stories, it just really seems as if Dior and Mikey are just stirring up beef for no reason and it's uncalled for. And this seems like a lot of drama for just guys that are in high school, but now there's even more more. Just recently, Dior Johnson threw a shot at Mikey Williams and Mikey fired right back, so let's get into it. For those of you that don't know, Bryce Griggs, which is a top player in the country, just transferred to Isidro to team up with Mikey Williams. And Bryce Griggs is an outstanding point guard, so this is going to be a dynamic duo. And Mikey Williams feels like they're going to be pretty good together, so he stated this, I feel like we're the best backcourt in the country. And there's nothing wrong with that. You got to be confident in your abilities, and they probably are one of the best backcourts in the country. However, here comes D or swooping in to start up new beef that's not even necessary. I don't know if these players are bored because of quarantine and they ain't got nothing better outs to do but there's been too much drama lately. I just think they need to shut up and every time they want to comment on a post or even start some drama they just need to go outside and shoot basketball. But hey I can't complain it makes for interesting stories and we love to see it as fans. So a basketball page posted what Mikey Williams said about him and Bryce Griggs on Instagram and this is what Dior commented on it. He put three laughy faces and said I'ma log off period. You know when somebody 
puts a period at the end of their sentence, they're obviously pissed and they're trying to make a statement. So Dior is basically laughing at that. He's like, yo, there's no way this is actually true. Like they can't think they're the best backcourt in high school. He's basically just mocking them and saying that's crazy. And well, Mikey didn't take too lightly to this. Only four days ago, Mikey took notice to what he said and this is what he wrote. You see, we don't have to be at the Oak Hills and the IMGs to do work. We make it work where we're at. We create the wave, not ride others. Woo, boy, that is one serious shot from my boy Mikey. I actually really like that statement. I don't care who you are. You cannot say that would not piss you off what Dior said. Nobody likes to be mocked. And hey, Mikey fired right back and he hit him with straight up facts. And what Mikey is referring to is that Dior was actually playing high school basketball at Mayfair High School, but decided to transfer to Oak Hill like we stated earlier in this video. And he called him out on it. He was basically saying, me and Bryce, we can do work where we're at. We don't have to ride someone else's wave or transfer. And as much as Mikey Williams has been cocky lately or arrogant or whatever you want to call him, I actually really like what he said. Mikey Williams isn't at a basketball powerhouse. He's trying to create one himself and not ride someone else's wave. And Mikey's been putting in some serious work at his side drill, and now he has another great great player to go along with him, so this is going to be one scary team. Currently as of right now, when I'm making this video, Dior Johnson has not responded to this. Although he hasn't responded, I can almost guarantee one thing, this is not going to be the end of this drama. And this is why I actually waited a little to make this video, because I was going to wait and see if Dior was going to reply, but it doesn't seem like he's going to. But hey, if there's any more updates to this story, you guys know I got you, so just stay tuned, because I feel like this is definitely not the end. And one thing that's very interesting is that Mikey Williams and Dior Johnson are not shy and they actually embrace the hate. So with that being said, this is going to be one very intriguing situation to follow up and keep our eyes on. Dior and Mikey have been in a ton of drama recently. So is this eventually just going to fall off or is it going to continue to grow and get bigger? But hey man, with all this being said, that's about going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. If you are new to the channel, what are you doing? Join the family and hit that subscribe button and leave a like for more. And as always, let's be great. I'm out y'all. Peace.